There you go. Cool. The only thing you want to remember with these tabs is when you go to put the mic on, don't over tighten them because they can snap off. It's some sort of a cast aluminum or something, I'm told. So obviously tight is what you want, but over tight, it's not good. Gasket sometimes gets hung up. Just pop it off and lays right back down in its place. Did you got to wax that back down? No. It's like no, these cut. ones these ones have no seat really, they just kind of okay. lay on the inside of the lip. Right. What we have here is an IRB board, two power strips, and then your settings inside for your lobes to hit for your position to travel and your heater. If you're inside one of these, this will be hot. So don't touch that, it'll burn you. Okay. <clears throat> First thing we're going to do is take a pair of snips, cut the zip ties. They come out. Flathead, everything out of this board can go. on both sides. Okay. Curly hair. Oh, the one we're shipping, I put on the receiving table. Or shipping uh, table. Is. Yes. Credit for what? Uh, sure. You generally save all these things so that if a customer comes in needing an IRB board, we'll have the entire kit to replace anything in the actuator upon them requesting it. So next we take out the IRB board itself. It's just four screws with posts underneath the board, keeping it up off of the deck and the inside of the actuator. posts are not glued or anything, they just come right out. They will run away from you, give them a chance. All these wires were in the strip here, along with some of the ones on the inside. Two of them go to the hand wheel. I'm just going to pull them straight out. You're left with two there. First thing I try to do before I move on, so I don't forget, because usually you end up forgetting, is you're going to take this blue connector, pop it out, put it right below the red one. If I can find the hole. That's what she said. <laughs> Make sure that's in there all the way, good to go. Nine times out of ten, I will forget that, and I'll be like, why the hell isn't this working? because you didn't move that wire. The whole thing won't cycle if you don't move it from, I guess, the three o'clock position to the six o'clock position. And then we're going to take a new power strip out of the kit that comes with the NXT and replace this power strip that's existing just so we can have the extra two ports for uh, power to the NXT itself. I'm gonna take my Instrument screwdriver. I'll send this to you. Huh? I'll send this to you. The video? Appreciate it. Might be too big. Mm, probably. Might be able to send it through email. Yeah. A lot of times, email or will allow you to send box larger. Like yeah. Best way to do this is pull one wire out at a time. That way, you don't get the uh, order confused. They all go to different things. I'm not sure exactly sure which ones go to which. You can follow the wires and find out and uh, put it back in correctly, but it's easier just to do one at a time, that way there's no confusion. Careful. 
Careful when inserting your wire, sometimes they fray, and then you'll have loose ends sticking out. Obviously, you both know that. Next, we can pull this strip out, put it in with the other pieces, and replace it with what you just wired up. Also, we have a new label for it. I'm going to use the lettered side. It goes A through I. We're actually going to cut it off after F. And that's going to match up with the amount of ports on here. Good thing it's magnetic. Yeah, this thing's a lifesaver. Next, before I put the actual NXT servo in there, I like to put the black and white wires in. There's no particular reason, I don't think. Just what I was told. White to E, black to F. Package very well. And it's actually going to go in with the split side toward the open close controls and power for the motor. There's two plastic bolts that come with this or screws. They are plastic, they will break. And if you break one, I don't tell you because I don't think you keep anything going. I don't know. Okay. It was like the biggest question we have when we got them. We're like, what the hell? Why would I do that? Because yeah. it's <coughs> cheaper, maybe? Mm -hmm. Ooh, it's electric. I mean, I'm, I'm thinking it's got something to do with the electric. Something. I mean, that's at the same time, I'm thinking that's. Like, Somebody yeah. thought it was a good idea, and then it was actually all bullshit. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's a good idea. Make them plastic. Make them plastic. Yeah. Mm. That'll, be, that'll go well in the field. Nothing can go wrong. So we're going to take these, and yeah. easiest way to remove them without hurting anything so grab one, I'm actually gonna come right where you're at. Okay, pop it. Pull it out just like that. You're gonna pull these two that come from the hand wheel off. Yes. Just set them aside. They're gonna be used in the wiring process over here. Okay. Then you're gonna take the middle ones and move them to the original positions that the hand wheel is in. Why would we ever do this? Are you gonna uh, be doing this? If it's, <laughs> it's hopefully they up. just buy modulating. I'm happy to learn how to do it. I'm yeah. just like, I'm, I'm running for the hills at this point if I'm being asked to do this. I'm like, yeah, mm. put that in my trunk. I'll be back in a couple hours. <laughs> got this guy. I'll drive up to Jersey. <laughs> I'll be driving. I know, I know a guy. I'll be driving to Jersey. Yeah. All right. So now you have doing this in the rain at like yeah, IP Franklin. <laughs> You're standing in my position looking at it like this. You have your lower and your upper uh, set of wires. Your lower wire set is going to go together in the third up from the bottom portion of the wiring block. So it's these here? Mm hmm. The bottom are going to go in the third set up from the bottom together. And this is extremely tricky. 
to uh, line what, up. Get two wires in? Yeah, these holes are smaller than the ones on the other Servo Pros, so it's a little bit pain in the ass. A little bit of a tight squeeze. Mm -hmm. Are they going in together or is there two separate holes? There's multiple holes, but they are going in together in the one hole. Why? I don't know, but that's how it was explained to me. And then your upper set of wires are going to go into your bottom tube below the one you just uh, installed. And it's a, an indication close and open. Open is always blue, close is always red. Okay. So we're going to try to keep the same loops that we have here so we can zip tie everything back up. And like I stated before, blue is open. And those are coming from the inside here, right? Mm -hmm. You're standing at it in my position, the top slide goes to the bottom two holes, and the bottom side goes together in the top hole. You got it. The bottom three for this specific arrangement. And what was the blue and red again? Blue is what? Blue is always open and red is always closed. Cool. And we're going to try to make this as neat as possible so when we go through yeah, the zip so ties. looks good. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the heater <laughs> be undid from Not the other assembly is in this board here. Yep. That kind of comes out. I always throw it over here with the hand wheel wires. I put them in last. The last. Just because it's easiest to do it that way. Now we're going to jump over on the other side. And there should be a section towards the end. The last three. We have closed, neutral, and open. We're going to follow the same respect. Before. Which one was closed? Oh. Ah, closed, neutral, open. Mm -hmm. The last three. So we're going to follow the same respect as the other side. Closed will be red, open will be blue, and neutral will be the yellow wire coming out of the motor. Is that the like deck. a ground or something? Uh, I'm assuming it's something along those lines. Grounds, grounds are green. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not a sparky. No, I'm definitely not into electronics as much as I should be, but this is just an order of operations that I've understood. Any kind of a wiring diagram here. Mm -hmm. well, we yeah, have... you explain it well, man. I appreciate it. Absolutely. This is really tough. So if I did in video, <laughs> video this, uh, <laughs> there's no way in hell yeah. I'm remembering this after one uh, Absolutely not. One walkthrough. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I like it. I don't know if they're gonna go with it or not. I don't mind the six eighty there. Or you know what? They were um they weren't replacing the six eighty, they replaced replace the wires. If yeah. we were to VRC. VRC, I'm sorry. Yeah, uh, if we were I think he was looking to replace white the, wire like having the absence of yeah. neutral. There's a yeah, neutral so alive and a neutral for the heater. Yeah, yeah, the next but, two up yeah, from your motor are your heater. Yeah. Which is here? Okay, okay that's and live here. and that's, <laughs> that's neutral. Heater. Okay. heater neutral and heater live, which yeah. is from what I understand, there's no polarity, so they can just be thrown in. Okay. And then um, this is going to be your power input. It's going to be white to neutral. Well, yeah, it's black to live. Which may sound yeah. like a common sense thing, well, not to me. Not an electrician. Mm, yeah, I don't know about the white, but I think yeah. It does on our paperwork, but that's black like as well. Work, you know? So that's our incoming power from mm. our conduit. Uh, if and when the actuator's hooked up. Uh, in the field? Yeah, that's it. I mean, you see. Yeah. You know, when, when did we touch the other one? Then we're gonna come back over and grab our heater. I mean, you know, my taking it. Break all the time. Brett, yeah. heater's non-polarized, correct? Uh, non-polarized. Okay. Correct. So we're going to go ahead and throw our heaters in in whatever order we want. So just keep it the same as it is. Red up top, blue on bottom.
Are you thinking of Lewis Canuso? No, it just says Joe Canuso on it. Oh. So that is the heater wire going in to the, those are the neutral, yeah. is that neutral heater and neutral what? <laughs> neutral, neutral heater and live heater. Okay. So neutral wire and a live wire for the heater. But it didn't matter which one's which? Nope, non-polarized. <laughs> I just kept it same, red first, blue second, red first, blue second. So that it uh, looks, I guess, nice. Appealing to the eye? Now, we're going to take the two wires we pulled out of the switch and we're going to cut the ends off. Brett likes to leave these full length and just tangle them up in there. I don't like it because it's too much mess. We're going to strip them back close to what the other wires are. I'm not talking shit. Oh, are these going in the, uh, mm -hmm. into the box? Yes, sir. This is the same process as for the Servo Pro, correct, Brett? You do red up top, blue on bottom. For yeah, the hand wheel. Well. Common is red, hand wheel is blue. Oh, for the heater? Yes. Uh, yeah, it's non-polarized, uh, like you said, so it shouldn't matter. Let's try to keep the same order to everything looks Sex again. Yeah. Special. Yeah, it was actually two of them on this one. Though. And everything's labeled on here, so if you look on the side, mm -hmm. after I'll let you take a picture or something if you can see with your camera, it says hand wheel and this and potentiometer and all that bullshit's in there. So okay, cool. You can just basically look at it and see, but it's good to have this video. I would, I would think. Oh hell yeah! Just so you know what I'm order. Stuck to do this here. If I gotta do this, that's why I stopped looking. I was like, there's no way I'm ever doing that. <laughs> <laughs> my my boss told me. Yeah. My boss told me. Learn how to do Learn it. Learn how to like, do that. Yeah. Holy, holy shit. That might mean you're going to be doing yeah. it more than once. Ugh. Most of the most of the guys don't necessarily do Fucking stuff out in the field. Yeah. We have a couple who will. Like yeah. Jeff will try and get like installation jobs. Yes. If he can. Okay. You know, but like they say, sometimes part of the problem is that um, you know if you're out doing an install, you're not out selling. You know. Yep. So. For me, it's usually fixing things, replacing something. Hey, we took this board, fry, bring another board, then you're a hero. Yeah, yeah that's tough I can calibrate yeah. a positioner. This is, this is a, it's fucking harder. Yeah, that's, that's actually work right there. <laughs> this is. This is actually what they get paid. This is. This is. Yeah. This is what makes. Yeah, this is the, paid because this is the. This, this is the. Yeah, this is the straight <laughs> definition of the difference between being the being a service tech and, a, and in sales. <laughs> it's his hand <laughs> wheel right there. <laughs> and red is... Which one's red? I, I believe it's non-polarized as oh, here. Okay, so it doesn't matter? If it's not, it'll get If it's not, the, if it's not <laughs> uh, the hand wheel ain't gonna work. Right now I have it in red is common <laughs> and blue is hand wheel. Okay. Next we're gonna take our potentiometer and make oh, sure... Oh, it's still going, huh? Oh it's yeah. What if you think more? This, uh, potentiometer is rotates basically 360 but a little less than so it cannot go past a certain amount of turn before it'll destroy itself if it goes past that it will break and then go see another one before i mount it i make sure i turn it all the way counterclockwise with the wires facing away from me okay so all the way counterclockwise yep you'll feel it stop okay wires away from me yeah you have one screw, one lock washer. Jay Elfie. Put in there. I always do the first screw loose, put the second screw in, then tighten them together, putting pressure on the potentiometer up against the wheel or cog. Always make sure that's rotated as far counterclockwise as you can get it. Push it up against. Keep it tight against the wheel while you screw it down. That way there's no movement, almost you know, zero gap in between the two gears. So when this turns, it will turn in unison. We're going to adjust that later on when we're doing the 
calibration. Oh, if you don't turn it all the way, it'll it'll break it. It will break. Yep. So we're going to change that. It'll actually throw a fault in the position it's in right now. It's kind of good that it throws that fault because it gets you to set it up where it's supposed to. All right. Is everything wired and installed? Not yet. We got three more wires, Holy and then we're going to do. Well, I'll turn this off after we do the wires. Okay. Because I'm already at 20 minutes. Yeah. Yeah. You just cooked your whole phone's memory there. <laughs> Go ahead and feed these mm. under. I can get it off here. Put it on Google Drive or something. Yeah. And put it right on the laptop. Just put it right on YouTube. Actually, <laughs> I'm just kidding. I had customers just... that wanted, they had a problem with a valve and they didn't know how to use Dropbox and stuff. They'd stick it on YouTube. And I'm like, dude, could you not label that, you know, our company name, Valve Sticking? <laughs> Thanks a lot. <laughs> <laughs> the order in which these go is wog white orange gray from the top down when you're wiring this so we're going to do our white first if i can see what the hell i'm doing the only way i remember wog is because in the tower industry when you're wiring up all yeah. the wires it was bog blue orange green so it was very similar but white orange gray is the order we go i doing guess this. you could have yelled down and say hey where no. does this wire come no. like in a freaking cell phone tower? I mean, sometimes like when you're in a cow pasture and you know, Eastern no Pennsylvania, can. there's nobody out there and you could just kind of talk to one another when you're at a minimum of 300 feet or maximum 300 feet, I should say. But uh, most times it was all over radios or if you had to pull it yourself in a call, like, hey, what the fuck am I doing up here? What? You want to come up here and help me? Yeah, I'll be right up. All right, so now we have all of our wiring done that's permanent for this installation. Right. We're just going to take dip ties, okay. go through, and make everything neat so you don't need 